Good afternoon, welcome to our Thursday Live. It's as if when I blink, it is Thursday again and we're almost in mid-October. I actually can't believe it. Before we are going to share this very creative, inspiring focal wall effect with you, I'm going to announce our winners for, from last week's competition. And we are also repeating this competition on this week's post. So how do you need how to enter to stand a chance to win is you need to like our Facebook page first. You need to tag in five friends on this video and also like the Recipit Facebook page. Recipit is a beautiful, authentic choco earring range. Um, and then you also need to share this video. So our winners from last week um, was Nonet Henning and Irene Stein. So you will receive your recipe earrings and the two stencils we used in last week's video. To stand a chance this week to win two pots of stencil of Paris and two choco 250ml paints, you need to do the same. Like the video, tag in five friends, like Recipe's fa Facebook page and also share this video. Okay, what we are going to do today in front of me I have four paint trays and you will see my microphone um, wire so excuse me for that but that's so that you can hear me properly. I am dressed in a very pretty colorful dress because I have a very important meeting after this session so wear paint clothes you don't need to wear fancy clothes you need to be able to get dirty I hope I can keep myself clean because that's very hard for me to do. So what I have in front of me is I have four paint trays. I have scooped out two pots of stencil of Paris in each. So to scoop out, I simply take a paint scraper or anything that you can use to remove the stencil of Paris into your paint tray. So these eight pots of stencil of Paris and the colors I'm going to use, and I'll show you the mixing now, will cover more or less a 10 square meter um, plastered wall surface. Make sure your wall is painted with a water-based paint, like a PVA. I have used choco, um, choco colors for walls in the color Davit. And also important, allow for your paint to dry. PVA's wall paints do take longer than choco, so at least four hours. Very important is that weather always influences the drying time of paints. So if it is a very cloudy, humid, um, even a cold day, you will have to allow longer drying times. So I have scooped out four paint trays, um, two pots of stencil of Paris in each of them. I am keeping a full jar of stencil of Paris separate in white. White always give accents. If something feels, even with a normal paint technique, feels too dark, you can brighten it with light colors. So I'm keeping that there for myself if I feel at the end that I need splashes of light just to emphasize what I've created on the wall. What I'm going to do next, there are no rules, okay? So this is a rule-free um, tutorial, is I'm going to add some choco in the colors, first of all, Vinya Stone, in my first paint tray. And it doesn't matter how much paint you add, you want to create color in your stencil of Paris. So I have added more or less, sure, I would estimate maybe 30 mil. Now, um, and I'm mixing it through my stencil of Paris. Also bear in mind, once the stencil of Paris dries with paint mixed into it, chalk or mixed into it, it will dry two shades, more or less, two shades darker. So I'm just looking at the color more than anything else that I'm mixing. Important is to have contrast with any paint technique. You need to have light and dark if you are a, a neutral lover. If you are a color lover, you will need to have different colors to make sure that they create contrast and also to have an authentic um, 
technique on your surface. So contrast with any paint technique is important. Light and dark or different colours. I am going to be playful with my colour selection. It's not going to be, to be a very vibrant wall. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and therefore I am including some reddish mellow in the second um, paint tray. So if you are a colourful lover, a lover for colour, you can combine various chocolate colours, whatever makes you happy. If you are a more of a neutral person, you can work with neutrals. And I'm repeating myself, just then make sure that you work with contrast. Light colours, like Divert, Labels Light, even Dance Wash and darker neutrals like Sheriff Stone or if you want to combine browns, I have Alsi, Alvis Mix. So I'm mixing through. It doesn't even need to be completely perfect. I just want to make sure that I can see pink. So there I can see a clear grey, a warm grey. Vinyastone is a lovely warm grey colour that just complements any other colour. Here I have a nice coral pink colour. Next I'm going to use Godfrey's Glimpse. I'm going to use this scraper. Just some blue. It's a beautiful, lovely denim blue. I'm going to add more so it's like a denim blue and not a baby blue. Okay, and in my last jar. I'm going to add some Sheriff Stone. I am bearing in mind that this will dry darker. Um, Sheriff Stone, in my last paint tray. And this is to make sure that I have contrast with my two, two neutrals I am working with. Contrast between Vinya Stone and Sheriff Stone is a beautiful combination. I'm adding some more. happy with that even though it's not perfect it's going to be stunning I'm removing my paints I'm going to close them immediately and now the fun is going to start now who said that you can't plaster anyone can do plaster work let me show you how so I have a paint trowel I'm going to start with Vinya Stone, apply it on my, sorry it's not a paint trowel, it's a plaster trowel. I'm going to apply some Vinya Stone mixed with a stencil of Paris on my trowel and I'm going to start having fun. So what I do is I simply 
spread. Sorry for the noise. I'm now going to start with my next color, reddish mellow. You can create your own Muriel. Reddish mellow. And remember, you will work with colors that work in your space. You can determine the thickness of the application. Next, I'll be using some Sheriff Stone. trowel in whichever direction. I also have one that's more of a rectangular shape. And I love what is happening here where you can still see the wall at the back and some splashes of texture in the front. And then some vineyard stone again. So I'm really just playing around between the different colors. And if you apply thinner coats, you can really cover a very large surface with these mixes. Or they, my husband will ask this question if I ever want to cover this what will I do you can paint normal PVA on top and then you can even leave as is it will be a very textured surface or you can do a washed technique on it then it will be like a muted cement effect or if you want to add some color Okay, here's some share of stone again, and I've added some Godfrey's glimpse as well.
I'm starting now to be very adventurous and this is actually how a creative process unfolds. I'm adding different colors to my trowel and in an instance you have those colors blending with each other. So there's some vineyard stone, reddish mellow, some share of stone and I am truly just enjoying myself. Um, if, you, if you know how many coats of paint these walls already have on them, I think our showroom has become smaller by two square meters in the past few months because we have used this wall and many of the other walls in the showroom for our book, um, which will be available soon. I can't wait for the day to share that book with everyone. Okay, I'm going to remove the ladder out of the way just to create more space and then just enjoy the process with me. I'm just simply troweling on Stencil of Paris mixed with Choco Colors on my wall. also important is to while you're busy painting especially doing paint techniques is sometimes just stand back look at what you have created maybe allow the paint to dry and cure just to see how the colors unfold and then make changes as you want to remember anything can be changed and fixed until you feel so happy about your creation And then remember that um, painting is a very good workout. You can do squats while you're busy. You can do lunges from the one paint tray to the next. We can get ready for summer to have summer bodies while painting. imperfections I love the fact that you can see texture on the wall that you can see different thicknesses here and there and remember you can also add more techniques that we have done over the over the past two years you can maybe do a faded stencil technique on top of this once it has dried completely if you want to you can maybe add some gold leaf or silver leaf if you want to you can add some of the chalk or metallic colors if you want to create something that you will just absolutely adore and then for the last thing I'm going to show is just to accentuate and just to brighten everything I've already created I'm adding some stencil of Paris just in the white across my trowel and I'm just going to add it here and there you can also make changes once this has dried completely if you feel that certain areas dry too dark and just brighten it up with a lighter color or more colors or if you feel that it's too light add darker colors so you are never restricted to make changes
areas that I have tried and tested this in. You can do it in bathrooms. You can do it in a room. You can do it in a kitchen. You can do it indoors. I have not tasted it outdoors. I have tasted it on my patio, but it's completely covered. Um, so just for those that will have those questions. Question, if you have leftover stencil of Paris, like I have, I haven't used anything up, can I store it for later use? Yes, you can. Make sure you scoop the stencil of Paris in an airtight container and then you can reuse at a later stage again. this is me I hope you have a marvelous week ahead I hope that your week is filled with color and inspiration and remember you are special I'll be back next week with more more creative ideas to share till next time